greetings and salutations and yo this youtube thing is an ongoing project that means you gotta fiddle you gotta tinker you gotta play with it and i am if nothing else an eminent tinkerer and jack of all trades type of dude who likes to try to master at least a few things namely americana and ethiopian studies but also things like the martial sciences and um, language and history and politics, which are wrapped up in Ethiopian and American studies or Americana, as I said. So just a quick update. A few interviews kind of fell through with scheduling issues and with, uh, you know, obviously the war going back at home, but definitely still more of those interview conversations that we've been having are going to continue on this channel. I made a new form of... Um, monetization i'm tinkering with monetization and one of the things i'm reflecting on at the halfway point which was six months i was able to monetize and for the past six or seven um eight if you count december months i've been getting revenue from people who sign up as members at either a dollar five dollars twenty five dollars a month on youtube people on patreon um that I shout out all the time, patreon.com slash Aksum, but then also been getting the direct money from YouTube advertisers. And one of the things that I always want to do is I don't want to monetize just for the sake of monetization. What I want to do is I want to create as much value for you all as possible. And one of the things I realize is annoying even for myself when I'm going through and trying to manage the videos that I have are the advertising dollars. So the more I think about it and reflect on it, the move I want to make, at least as of right now, is to try to self-demonetize. That is to say, get rid of the advertising dollars that are on the YouTube videos that I have, making the YouTube viewing and listening. I don't know if you're watching it at home or if you're on the go or wherever it may be, making that viewing, listening, watching experience more exciting <laughs> um, and, and less cut up. You know, I, I see... People like Michael Malice being relentless against his audience. And I, and I love him on a number of things, but he's just like relentless uh, against his audience's wishes because he's very much elitist. And I'm an elitist too, but I kind of like the masses. <laughs> there's, a, there's a balance between being a populist and an elitist. And I think that as a man who appreciates the situational, the contextual, the functional, the case by case over the one size fits all, it behooves me to listen to these various aristocratic and democratic forces and to adjust. So I've made a new Gumroad account, which is another way of monetization. So that is artandscience.gumroad.com. I'm gonna be sticking those links in the bios, but. If you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you'll see the links there already. I've put up a couple of products from grad school. I have a paper exploring taboos in mass torts about how to sue the U.S. federal government for domestic and for uh, abroad harms and damages. I have public domain paper, which is an intellectual property with property and scare quotes, a cultural construct where I wrote to a law professor of intellectual property that intellectual property may be something that is de jure or on paper, but it is something that is indefensible de facto, meaning you can't stop it from Napster till today, LimeWire, um, you know, the kind of promulgation of all the streaming music services in response to the attitudes of the people with things that are infinitely replicatable in the digital space as opposed to being just scarce in real physical space. Or they praise her, the messengers, which is a good is right prayer that I've translated is on there. The letter that I read about a year ago on this channel that Emperor Minilik II wrote to Abba Jafar II, of course, Emperor Minilik, the king of kings of Ethiopia, Abba Jafar, the king of, uh, of Jimma, where the current prime minister is uh, from, and uh, an Oromo, of course, um, this doesn't really matter. You know, Minilik himself is mixed. His mother is a southerner who was uh, 
a, a bond servant or a regular servant in the palace, but his father has that Solomonic lineage. Then I have my grandfather's opposition letter to Weyani or TPLF regarding Wulkait Agadi Alamt Humara, or otherwise known as Simeon, the kind of northern areas of what is now known as the Amhara region, and which was under dispute with the Tigray region according to TPLF maps and their designs for greater Tigray. But <clears throat> anyway, I have some literary products there and I'm going to continue putting literary products there. I'm going to put the audio version of this podcast there as well. In case you have the Gumroad app, you can listen to this in audio version there. But I just want to make your YouTube experience cleaner. Um, I want to encourage you all if you can, to join my YouTube channel at either a dollar or five dollars. If you're balling, you can go twenty-five dollars. But really, if half of you or a quarter of you were supporting at a dollar or five dollars a month, uh, <laughs> this would be a lot easier to keep producing and keep producing and keep increasing the quality. And I'm all about quality control, and I want to increase the quality for you all. So I plan to be getting rid of the ads and I want to encourage you all, at least temporarily, we'll see how it goes. I want to encourage you all to join as members of this channel or on Patreon or buy my products on Gumroad. And, you know, the more and more that happens, the greater stuff you're going to get from me. So thank you all for your support thus far. And thank you in advance for your future support and expect a lot more content over the years from me.